Hello everyone, Spurnetix42 here, and today we're going to be continuing uh, My Lovely School, Episode 3, The Birthing. This is it, what, the one where she has the baby. It's not the final episode, there's four episodes, I believe. Uh, so, in the last episode, Sandy got a new job as a shoemaker, because that's her dream, and we were introduced with a new character, uh... uh Warden. And that one scene with Derpy, I guess that, that that's his wife? I don't know. Uh, what to expect? I have no freaking clue. I'm gonna have to watch it on my tablet again because I don't know why it will not play on my computer as an MP4. I don't know why, but I don't know. It's just stupid that way. But, I don't know. What to expect? I guess Skulu having her baby. And I think that the adoption part is not going to go as smooth as it's going to go. I think Skulu's going to see her baby and go, oh, I want it. And she's going to somehow keep the baby. I really hope she does because I'd hate to see her give it up. But sometimes that's the right thing to do. I don't know. Well, well let's find out. So, in three, two, one, let's get this party started, peeps. Alright, here we go. Previously on Mother School. Okay, you got this, Sandy. Warden is just a famous soldier who offered you your train job. You've got this. Do you understand everything so far? Yep, I'm ready to start working. Alright then. Then here is your first job. Your first job is to cut a set of royal princess style boots. The princess's favorite design using this uncut double A rated M. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. Ah, there you are. Please, come in and relax. Wow. Warden does have a nice place. <laughs> That's the random part I was talking uh, about. Uh. <laughs> uh <laughs> Would it be better if I put my iPad on? I'ma go do that right now. Jeremiah, activate. I love that they added uh, PewDiePie in there. I used to watch him, but not as much anymore. It's kind of, I like Mark Fire better. No offense to that. PewDiePie, I like to watch this. I never know if she had tears in her eyes in that picture. Well, let's see what this is all about. Well, I can honestly say I'm surprised you finished so quickly. What's going you on with Derpy? You so little of the gem, too. I'm impressed. I learned fast. Plus, the books you found were amazingly detailed, so I was able to pick up on it fast. I also oh, got word but I think her wire is going to break. They said it was a little bit rough around the edges. But with practice, you would make a great jeweler. Well, that's very kind of you to say, but She's I like bored. making footwear. I mean, it is my passion, after all. Yeah, he can be a bit aggravating with all his talk. Giving her a bro But he really muffin. is a good stallion. It's got chocolate in it. Keeps you sane during this time, with all those hormones swimming around your head like goldfish. But it will get better, don't worry. It's worth finding out. Artwork's the gotten better too. I had to learn was that the diaper doesn't go in the baby's head. <laughs> anyway, I'm just glad that the shoes came out so well. It so her and Derpy are getting along. That's any, good. I'm very happy I didn't lose my touch. Just like riding a bicycle, huh? Well, I, I also guess like you that say there's that. more color. Well, it is your special talent for a reason. I really doubt you'd be able to forget it that easy. That is true, I suppose. If I never made shoes again till I was old and gray, I'd still be able to pick up on it pretty quick. Say, speaking of talents, 
represents. I'm not exactly sure what yours represents. Oh, this? Oh, it just looks more complicated than it really is. You see, the mark itself is a tesseract, basically what a cube in four dimensions would look like. Existing mm -hmm. in a plane greater than our own, it relates to my talent, which is the ability to lock objects or ponies in time and space. Comically enough, I was named for that shape. So, your special talent directly controls time. Well, sort of. It's more like a form of suspended animation than it is control of time. What? <sighs> of course. Is something wrong? You seem disappointed. Sorry. Watch, Maybe I am a little. Gonna break. I, I can picture this. Would you care to explain? Well, it's just... I get a little anxious whenever control of time or time travel gets brought up. See, when I was younger, I did a lot of reading up on the subject, and I was pretty fascinated by it, you know? Didn't have much else to do, so I always kind of read and studied time travel. It was one of the more interesting subjects to me. However, as time got older, and I grew older, I began to realize the truth about the subject. Time travel isn't real. At least, not omnipotent time traveling. Sure, you haven't Star seen. Swirl and if you apparently have not seen, it's about time or time, the season five finale. Then they were always snapshots that either but it's about time was, or had had disastrous results. <clears throat> and just, I've come to hate time travel for that reason. No matter what, time travel has loopholes or limitations. Oh boy, I'm having a breakdown. Even if you were given unlimited control of time to travel through it freely, you can't just. Do whatever you want with it. No matter what you do, you can't save everyone. You can't let everyone just live happy she's and fulfilling a, lives. I see what's going on with Sonny here. She's, 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 no. she's, she's having like regrets. A paradox or a rip in time and she blames space herself for, for the end of her. If you even try to save for, one pony's life. I'm guessing Skulu's mother's death. I'm sorry. Time travel is a very touchy subject for me. Uh. Dinner okay. time! Muffins, of course. <laughs> School's eating chocolate. And now it's huh? so quiet. Whoa. Ah! Uh, Whoa, Sandy? what the? Are you alright? Oh, she probably forgot to tell you like she usually does. She has a phobia, it's magic. Uh, oh. oh. Well, my apologies. I wasn't aware. Oh, well, this dentist's going great, Sandy. You okay, Sandy? <laughs> Anything I can do to help? I get it, I get it, I get it. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> oh, this is funny. We will return after this short commercial break. No commercials! Coming this summer, 11 different scooters from 11 different realities like forced to live one. together in one single house, competing for a prize. But what is the prize? Perhaps it's freedom, perhaps it's money, or perhaps it's something beyond their imagination. Whatever the prize is, it still remains that these schools are going to have to learn to live together or destroy themselves in the process. This is the coup. Oh, sweet Celestia! It smells horrible in here! Why are we doing confessionals in a stupid chicken coop? And whose bright idea was it to separate a pregnant filly from her family and every pony she has ever known? Okay, this is reminding me a lot of the real world or one of those oh, MTV shows. I'll show you hormonal rage. What the? Huh? <laughs> what the? F oh no no no. Uh. So, up for some pizza? Yeah, that that sounds good. 
Sandy, I'm truly sorry for what happened tonight, but I just want you to know that you have the job, so report to work on Monday at 0800 hours. So, Sandy, what do you have to say? I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you. I promise I'm going to do it the best I can for you. Oh, they're eating me. By the way, Carnivore ponies why recommended. did you shove that muffin into my mouth? To shut up. Mm. You tend to talk a lot. Now come inside. Mama needs some loving. Man, Naughty yes, jerky! <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. And then they... Oh. So you're the alicorn princess of love, right? Does that mean we could, like, Cadence. I don't know, use our powers to make some pony love the idea of buying me more chocolate? Hint, hint. <laughs> well, the last time I used my magic to get something, like sweets, didn't really turn out so great. Don't you what worry, the heck? Headmaster. I'll straighten this girl out something fierce. Young lass, as soon as we get home, you're going to get the punishment of a lifetime. I could, however, always hire you a personal chef, Skulu. As a princess, I might just be able to make that happen. Good drawing on, uh, Cadence as well. Her blood pressure is dangerously low, and her body's going to shock. It's a dream. Quick nurse, 50cc stacked. Damn, that Mario! Uh oh. Oh man. Yeah, it's just a dream. I really thought her wire was going to break at that dinner. I really thought it was going to break. Next morning. 7.5 Something bad's gonna happen. Huh? Is, what the? Who would that be this early in the morning? This is uh, going to get hello? Interesting. Can I help you? Are you Sandy Hooves? We heard that you had an unborn foal for adoption. <gasps> no! Oh. No, it can't. No, it can't happen. Hey, no! But of no. course, is that surprising? Well, a little, actually. I mean, you're the first to, well, read my common person on the ad. I mean, I've only been getting well-wishing letters, but that doesn't matter. I was about to make coffee. Please come inside. Coffee sounds wonderful. Thank you. Birthing part one. So, Jet Set, Upper Crust. You two are from Canterlot? Well, what brings you to Ponyville? I mean, Jet Set. I'm sure Canterlot has plenty of ponies to adopt. Well, we were originally looking in Canterlot, but. We came to the conclusion that the children are already too pampered. I don't know if you've seen Canterlot foster homes, but they are fairly well off. We got These the feeling that none like of the kids would parents. see us as their parents but more as they just ponies that they moved in with Mental now. image. So when we went looking through our other ads, Isn't that Prince we found yours. Blue Blood or whatever his name is. Sense. Is there any specific reason you're looking to adopt? Well, without going into detail, it'll be very difficult for us to conceive. So while possible, we, not, we might not for years to come. But we're ready to be parents now. I completely understand. The next thing I need to ask, What's your financial situation look like? Oh no. Oh, oh sweet. sweet. Top of the line. Yeah. I've never I've seen so many zeros. Well, I can honestly say that everything checks out. I really do think you two are going to make wonderful parents. The only thing I'd like you to do is have the two of you meet Scootaloo. Scootaloo? Oh, she's the one who's having the baby. Is this required? No offense, but that sounds like it would complicate things. Well, I'd really appreciate it if you did. She's been 
worried about the baby and that I think showing her that it's going to go to a wonderful home was going to cheer her up. Well, all right then. Where's the mother? Randy! Oh no, it's time. Oh no. Uh oh. This isn't good. Okay, okay, Skidloo. Just breathe easy. You're almost ready. Oh, Celestia! Army the kill rain catcher when this is over! It's okay, Scoot. Everything's okay. Just calm down and breathe. Alright, Scootaloo. We're beginning the C-section now. The lower body has been numb, so we should huh? feel a thing. Wow, I said that throughout all it's these episodes. Over. Just a few more minutes. You can do it. I, I knew she'd have to have, have, to have a C-section. She's too young. Her birth canal isn't okay, open there enough. We go. I should say that. Is my baby okay? Why don't you see for yourself? But it's a healthy This is where it's gonna boy. hit her. Oh, hey there. so cute. Hey there. Oh no. She's gonna have to give up the baby. Miss Hoots, if you have a moment, we have some paperwork we need you to fill out. Oh, uh, of course. I'll be right back, Scootaloo. Okay. Sucky. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I draw the line at sucking on your hoof. What? Let his real parents hold him. Oh, do calm down, will you? We are his rightful parents. He was up for adoption. What? Which means uh, you gave up yeah, your I had these people parent. picked from the beginning. You knew Terrible. it was coming to this. Why are you so surprised? We just want what is best for our son, after all. You shouldn't be so selfish. This is why I don't like country folk. Always just doing whatever they want. You'll be lucky if you even get to visit. It's her baby. Oh, you're... I want to punch him. <laughs> Give him a good Sorry punch in the face. That. I'm back. They're uh, gonna get back. I'm custody of the hey, baby. Is something wrong, Scootaloo? I have no idea. She's been like that for the last ten minutes. Maybe she's having postpartum depression. Well, the doctor said that she'd probably be suffering from that. Said she would just need rest, so that's true. Anyway, Miss Who's, about the adoption forms. Oh, of course. Uh, we'll let Scootaloo rest. Uh, let's head back to my place to fill out the forms. Tell him! Tell Sandy! You have every right to see your baby boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be bad. I, I knew it. She was gonna take the baby. Screw this. I'm out. Don't worry, you guys don't have to get brave at me again, you know, flipping that table. I, I'm not like that. What? What? Derpy? What, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Derpy. Hey! Scootaloo's gone missing. What? What? The birthing part two. Uh, okay. You. Start your search in the northern district. We don't know where she is, and we cannot afford to leave a stone unturned. I'll check the Everhey Forest. She might have gone that way, and no one else is fast enough to search it. Do it. Sandy, I'm glad you're here. Warden! What? What's going on? According to our intel, Skulu ran away from the hospital and took her child with her. Not only can we not find her, the hospital has informed me that her surgical wounds haven't had time to properly heal. She could be in serious trouble no. and endangering the baby at the same time. We were hoping you might know something where she could have gone. She she isn't at, at her friend's house or clubhouse? We checked those places first, but she wasn't anywhere to be found. Then where would she Excuse me, huh? What is going on here? Where is our son? I am so sorry, Miss Uppercrust, but Scootaloo ran off with a baby. I don't know what's gotten into her, but they're both in danger. What? That brat! I knew she couldn't be trusted around our baby. 
What? N no, Scootaloo would do never do anything to hurt her baby. She's just not thinking straight. We just need to find her, and right now she could be seriously hurt. Unacceptable! That hooligan is endangering the life of our son with her reckless behavior. This is absolutely outrageous. I swear, Celestia, nothing better happened to our son. If she's hurt, then it's what she deserves. Son, yeah. Better off dead anyway. Excuse me? Look, oh, I understand you that the baby's put it. you're upset about that. But saying Skulu would be better off dead is crossing the line. You would say that. It's not your child in danger. Even if Skulu isn't my daughter, I still care if she lives or dies. How can you stand up for that hooligan in the middle of a crime? A crime that is endangering our son. That hooligan is like also the birth mother, and probably doing what she thinks is best for the baby. How can you say that with a straight face? Because I've known her for years. I've practically raised her. So, it's your fault she's this way. What? You have no idea what kind of life she's had. I've been doing everything I can just to pick up the pieces and keep them from falling apart forever. If this is the result, then you'd make for an awful mother. Ooh. Stop. Uh oh. Get the hell out of my face. You can forget about adopting the baby. What? You can't deny our son now. Who the hell do you think you are? I am the foster mother. I'm the one who put the paperwork for the adoption together. So I get to determine if you're even fit to adopt the baby. Uh, she can just go I just found you unfit to adopt the baby. Why you... 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 You little... You'll be hearing from our lawyers. Fine. Bring your lawyers. You didn't say no papers. I won't let you have that baby as long as I still have breath left in within me. And as long as the two of you are leaving, let me give you an express pass back to the Cantalot. Toink. <laughs> That's funny. What? That's that's a baby cry. It's a boy. What? What it's happened like here? I gotta get her to the hospital right away. Wait a minute. Who's this? Sandy, are you all right? I apologize for the magic. Uh, yeah, I'm okay, Warden. Thank you. Alright, we should focus on finding Skulu. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? I... I don't know. She never told me about the places she would go to hide at. <sighs> Excuse me. No, he gets... This child. She needs immediate medical attention. Oh. Oh no. Okay, I'll go get a nurse. Alright, put her on the stretcher. Gently. We need to hurry. What's that? Oh, I want its mama. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Well, Thunder Titan. my job here is done. So, oh no, you oh, it's don't. Doc You're staying Dr. right Hitz. here. Look, I don't know who you are or where you come from. I like from, this artwork. But something about you rubs me the wrong way, and you're not leaving until I get all of the details. Uh, uh, uh all right. Good. Now you come with me, and if you try to do anything funny, I promise you'll be seeing the glass end of a window. Do I make myself clear? E e yes, e yes, understood. Yes, understood. Who is that? Is it Dr. Hoods? No? We've managed to get a stable, but she's not out of the woods yet. All we can do now is treat anything that shows up. Th thank you. Oh no, this is not my fault. I can't believe I let this happen. You were only doing what you thought was right. Don't blame yourself. 
No, you don't understand. If the paperwork is being processed as we speak, I'm sure by the end of the week they'll be declared Lightning's legal guardians. Maybe... Maybe I can fight. There's glue to keep the baby. As much as I hate to say this, that won't be possible. By law, Scootaloo is in violation of kidnapping from a hospital and endangering the baby. The courts will have to put the baby into a foster care until this is settled. Scootaloo will be kept away by a restraining order. The nearest foster homes available are either in Cloudsdale or Canterlot. To even visit the baby, Scootaloo will need to pass a psychological evaluation. And by then, the courts will likely have found those two as the rightful parents. Oh. Oh, Zalicia. What do I do? I, I just want Scootaloo to be happy, and the baby to have a good home. Why can I not have both? Um, sorry to interject, but I, uh, I know a good home that fits that criteria. You, you do? Why, yes. If you would come with me, I can take you to it. Who is this? Who is that? I'm trying. What? Wow. Uh, that was the best episode thus far. I have no idea where this is going. I mean, I want to see Skulu keep the baby, but oh, if the paperwork goes the uh, it, it, the two I hate to swear the two butt heads um that are trying to adopt the baby are going to get it. <sighs> I'd like to know who this new pony is. From the cutie mark, I'm guessing it's Dr. Hooves, but it's not the right colors of the mane and the coat. But the cutie mark is a time tra is something to do with time travel. And since we just found out something about uh Sandy being very, uh, she enjoyed time travel, but kind and liked to study it. Could this be playing into episode four? But I just wanted to punch those assholes when they, when they took the baby right away from school. That's her baby. It's not your baby yet. I know that it's just, <laughs> I know it's just an end, but if if I'm getting angry, that means the animation is good. Insane Bark improved big time. Such as the music, like the sad music, you could he actually hear the characters talking over it. That's good. And now, I can't really figure out who the warden is in this character or in this scenario. She, he's the boss of Sandy. I, I know that. But, um, is he good? Is he bad? Is he kind of just the one that's in between? Because he's kind of, <laughs> he kind of sugarcoats the scenario. And he's correct about everything. By law, Skulu would, you know, be kept as far away from the baby as possible after endangering it. But, you know what? It was the right thing to do. I don't like these but heads that came from Canterla and hopefully they stay out of the picture. I don't like them at all. Snobby rich people. Ugh. Can't stand them. But that was really, really good. And I'm looking forward to seeing episode four in a couple of days. I'll try and have the Bride of Discord episode seven reaction up tomorrow. I'm sorry I've been very, very hesitant on that, but uh, with being sick and all that stuff, it's been tough. But I'm back to normal, finally, and that was really good. 
I really liked it. I liked when Sandy went all... Oh, yeah? Well, if you're gonna call me an, a bad, bad mother, you're just gonna... <laughs> when she went all psycho mode. Psycho Sandy. I like that, Sandy. I like it. That was really good. Insane Bark improved big time, and I can't wait to see how this actually ends. Wow. I don't know what to really say other than that, but excellent job. You improved big time, Insane Bardock. It's all for now, guys, and like, comment, uh, subs like, comment, subscribe, um, and more reactions will be coming soon. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, and spare 9642 out for now.